Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. Hey, welcome back to Tim Friend. As you can see, we're about to teleport. We just uh, wrapped up Paw Print Isle. Uh, and we've got most of the map done. We've only got a only got a couple more uh, um, couple more islands to get the map data on. Uh, you may have noticed one empty space in the middle of uh, a bunch of other uncovered stuff that we were not heading to. And that's the Tower of the Gods, which I always forget if you can actually get map data for that place or not. I think you cannot, because it's not an island, technically. It's just like a place. Uh, but we're going to give it the old college try anyway at some point. We'll just go back and check it out. Uh, sail all the way around it, look for a fishman. Because uh, it's much easier to do with the swift sail. Uh, and Wind Waker of old, you had to literally just fucking change the wind direction every fucking five seconds as you made a circle around a giant goddamn tower and hope that the fishman didn't change positions while you were doing that because that's that's a thing that can happen he's in a semi-random spot as far as i can tell I, at least i think that's the case i think i've had him change positions on me before but i might be remembering wrong Ooh, ooh, good stretch Ooh, a big stretch ah hoy small fry yeah, yeah, I heard. Chart information. Open up your seat chart. This place is called Big Fish Island because there used to be a big fish. His name was Jaboon. What's it called for real, though? Great Fish Isle. Okay, so it was a synonym for big fish. And, and, and then Isle, was that was the same one. There's a ghost ship here. Great. Thanks, man. Already been to it. Love it. Later. Now I go north for... Possibly the final island data. Charted data. Eh. I think I have extra bait too. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Oh, that's so nice. This this island's kind of cool. I'm I'm down with this this last island. It's got a little little skill based thing with throwing bombs so they don't they explode at the right time if I'm remembering correctly. Hello, stationary pirates. I see you've... Um... Anyway, bye. That's that's pretty nice of you. Oh, we've also got a beetle shop here. And this is a very special beetle shop. You can see it's got a little, little, bit, a little bit of a different palette. Excuse me, beetle. I have business within. <laughs> he just walks forward until he hits the thing. Hello! We have a week to get all the money. 950 rupees. Thank you. We're all happy here. Thank you. 500, okay. Last one can't be more than 1,000. 900. Alright. We did it. Good thing I got those two hundo rupees. We're all happy. Bye. Why are you looking at me? Look at the goods. You're out of goods. Also, why does this why does this beetle have like a like a Greek helmet? Bizarre. What happens if I go back in? Is he still out? Okay. Okay, so we can we can buy shit. I mean, we, all I, you know what? I'll buy the red potion. Fuck it. And uh, I don't need arrows. I do need bombs. Is it a great price? I have no idea. I can buy a lot of them though. It's very nice. Yeah, give, give me. I can't care anymore. Okay. Well, listen. This has been a weird time, Beetle. You're a weird man, but. I appreciate the shit you've given me. All right. Time to find, talk to a fish about a map. Where? Where is? There is. I can't stay mad at you, fish man. But I can stay mad long enough to get revenge. That's uh, it's the tagline for my new action movie. I hope you like it. Ah. Uh, Merman. You've been good to me, Merman. You've been making that sh noise all the time. That one looks like a poopy. 
Hey, you've been saying Shvain. Been giving me just like a little bit of a uh, little bit of information. Not like a whole lot of stuff that I can't use all I, that I don't already know. But if that's the last time I see him, that's okay with me, because he's served his purpose. And also, I don't want to have to hear this fan anymore. I don't want to have to waste my ding dang time. But we're still gonna look for him. Once we finish up this island, we're gonna just check. Just gonna check. <laughs> Nailed it. Done in one, son. Can we just, uh, huh? yeah. Alright. <laughs> Done. He's going for three. <laughs> Three for three, benches. First time's the charm. First time's the charm, and first time's the charm. Where's the sign here? Cool. Fucking dumb. Why would I go... I mean, I guess you could reach this place right after the, uh... Son of a bitch. I walked into the light expecting to use it as a mirror shield place. Somehow it did not occur to me that that's not what that be. Okay, can I use flames? Can I just use flames? Oh my gosh. Infinibat. There's so many bats. I mean, this is the part where I wish I had the freaking hurricane spin. I wonder how many bats that was. Someone count those bats. That's a fun way to spend your afternoon, right? Counting bats. Because if it's 100, that might be a pretty representative sample. It's like one every 100 bats. You get an orblum. An orblum. Now, give me that C chart. Grimbly blinks. Or $100. A sea chart. Thank you very much. Now, is that it? Okay, it just had a pot with some sticks, so you could light them in a more efficient way. Ugh. Fuck you, sticks, and fuck your efficiency. I didn't want to do it efficiently. I want to do it my way. All right, but that's uh, that's all the ding ding island data. Oh, let's 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 go check out the Tower of the Gods. Got to do it. Gotta make sure. I want that map to be completely, slightly lighter beige. Because if it's not, then uh, I'll feel bad. Because it, it doesn't look as good as it could. Nope. This one. Tower of the Gods. Then we gotta get some fucking money. After buying all that shit, we are broke as hell. So I think that'll mean going around doing all the treasure charts. That's fine. That's fine and fun. I mean, I'm sure it's one of them. All right. Oh, help! You gotta help me out. You gotta keep keep an eye out for a fishman. He could be fucking anywhere. There's beetle. It's not who I want. I want fishman. There's a smudge on my monitor. Looks like fishman. Isn't. It's not fishman. It's treasure. Let's find the one that's the Tower of the Gods. It's not that one. I've already seen it. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Passed right by it. Nope. Nope. Forgot what buttons are. I think I think we're at it. Yeah. Hopefully it's money. <laughs> Could really use some of that that cash right now. Ain't gonna say no to those pieces of hearts though. It's two hundred dollars. Very good. All right, back to looking for a fish. Think about adventure. A fishman. Charles Fishman himself. It's it's Rodney Fishman's. 
There is a fish man. I don't know if I knew that or not. Yeah, yeah. It's not an island, but okay. It's a tower that was underwater and then came up very quickly due to magic. What is it standing on top of her now? What is it? It's too big to fit on the little thing. I've done a fish fortune on you, small fry, and what I can tell, it looks like you're fated to come to this place many times. And the keys that control that fate are none other than the lucky items known as the Triumph Forks. Yeah, that's some sort of magical utensils. If you want to learn more about the Triumph Forks, talk to that guy Tingle. That's what the fish fortune told me. Now I know I may only be a fish, but my fortune telling is uncannily accurate. You better believe it, small fry. And that's all the info I got to offer. Goodbye, fish man. Au revoir. Au revoir. And goodbye, my friends. I'll see you next time on another episode of Wind Waker. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>